Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Omniviewer, here with another very quick video regarding upcoming movie news. Now, a bit of preface first. Back in December of 2013, I was the only person in the entire world who expressed a huge amount of concern for Legendary's American Godzilla. Follow the links to see the evidence for yourself. But the short version is, based on everything we had seen so far, the posters, the trailers, and indeed Gareth Edwards' only previous film, Monsters, I was pretty concerned about this movie. I believed that what others were calling restraint so they don't give anything away was actually pretty strong evidence that we would be getting a movie which was very human-centric and didn't really feature all that much in the way of Godzilla. And it also turned out I was right, and I'm never going to let any of you forget it. I bring this up because in regards to the upcoming animated movie Toho is making, which will be Godzilla's first official anime incarnation, I'm feeling a real sense of deja vu when it comes to the teaser images. Here's the first teaser image we got. You will note that the only evidence of Godzilla is the name written in a color that practically blends into the sky. Otherwise, no sign of Godzilla anywhere. There are some people who say that if you zoom in on this tree down here, it looks kind of like one of Godzilla's dorsal fins, and perhaps that's significant because there's no other tree that looks like it anywhere in the image. The only problem? There is another tree that looks like it in the image, rather prominently in fact. It's right here. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this picture doesn't have any Godzilla in it. Now we've got this second image, and yet again, no sign of Godzilla. I'm sure people will try to do the same thing by saying that this or that tree looks kind of like Godzilla's dorsal fin, which means maybe he's lurking in the background, but no, if you look at the image as a whole and see how all the trees line up, there is no way any of this depicts Godzilla. And yet again, I find myself starting to get a little concerned. Why haven't we seen even a glimpse of Godzilla yet? Now that's not to say this image isn't intriguing, certainly. My previous three theories are either that this is Monster Island and it's a search party looking for something, it's maybe spacefaring humans returning to a post-apocalyptic Earth that's been overrun by kaiju sometime in the past, or they're time travelers who have gone into prehistoric times to try and find Godzilla before he was mutated. I suppose looking at this new image that it's also possible these guys are on an alien planet and they'll either be bringing back an opponent for Godzilla or maybe bringing back Godzilla himself, which means this would be yet another very, very, very different interpretation. So yeah, I'm still very intrigued to see how this movie turns out, but at the same time, the lack of Godzilla is concerning me. One of the first images we got in regards to Shin Godzilla was this footprint, which is both very little and yet a whole lot all at the same time. And even the legendary posters, though they constantly tried to obscure Godzilla somehow, still featured Godzilla in the image. Where the heck is Godzilla in this movie? Part of me wants to say they're just showing restraint, but bear in mind, this is written by the same guy who wrote Puella Magi Madoka Magica, a magical girl series that didn't allow its main character to become a magical girl until the very last episode. And yes, I know why they did it, and yes, it did work, but what I'm saying is I'm bracing myself. I'm still intrigued, I still want to see this movie, and I still want it to be good, but I am still bracing myself. I can already tell this is going to be very different, but whether or not that difference equates to being good... Well, I guess we'll learn later in the year. Well, that's all for now. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer, signing off.